And these extreme temperatures create a risk for volunteers helping with a search for missing Fairfield woman. Butler Warren reporter Valerie Miller is joining us now live from the command center in Fairfield, where the effort now shifts, of course, to the weekend. Valerie. Tanya, as coordinators here say, they are open for business, but with this heat, searching is difficult for many. So active searching today was minimal. The attention instead shifts to planning for the weekend that is anything but a holiday. This is slow, methodical, and make sure we cover every square inch. Dave Rader, a search coordinator with Texas EquiSearch, led another team of volunteers into a secluded field today. This is a textbook example of how he directs his team leaders to line up and search under rocks, under debris, and in tall grass. Today's effort was smaller, a couple dozen people. A lot of that had to do with the heat. Because of the, the heat of the day, uh, we had several people that were kind of uh, suffering from a little bit of heat exhaustion yesterday. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of scale back a little bit today. While volunteers search, Raider and Texas EquiSearch founder Tim Miller concentrate on setting a course for Saturday's search. They hope to spread out even further and today went in search of more remote locations. We're estimating anywhere between three and four hundred people, which would be fantastic, especially being a, a, the Labor Day weekend also. So, uh, but 170 people on a Thursday, people taking off for this. I can't imagine what we're going to have tomorrow. The community is stepping up in other ways as well. Donations of water and today, bagels to re-energize the volunteers and keep the coordinators going. At the quick and cold drive through on Nillis Road, a refreshing sign of what awaits volunteers. Store manager Joseph Buell says they offer bottled water to searchers and ice for the command center. Just know everybody is out there working hard and um, trying to you know, let us know we're supporting by you know, offering any way we can help. And Fairfield police say this organized search is a huge help to them because it allows them to focus all of their efforts on that investigation. And new information about that investigation, police now know the location of the cell tower that transmitted Caitlin Markham's last cell phone use. Now coming up new at 6 o'clock, there is another missing person case that is now included in this widespread search. We'll have details on that at 6. Back to you. All right, thank you, Valerie. A Bridgetown mother is accused of leaving two kids in a car during...